There's only two reasons I really know of, to save money and to protect the environment. The number one is save money, and that's why compact solar hot water heaters are the best in the business. You want the most cost-effective, trouble-free, simple, and cheapest to install. That's the type of unit you want. Once again, it boils down to money. It has a two-year payback and right now a lifespan of 15 years and counting. It doesn't require any electricity at all. It's a do-it-yourself installation if you want it to be. About four hours and you can mount it on your roof or you can mount it on the ground. Those are the reasons I think it's the best in the business. Well, that depends upon sunlight and the amount of hours of sunlight. I have deduced that each tube produces 166 BTUs per hour. What that means to the layman? Not much. It's rated at 600 watts per square meter of tube space. As a practical method it provides a hundred percent from May to September and from in December and January it produces about fifty percent so depends on how much Sun how much hot water you're using compacts are sized by the gallonage and the tubes are sized to those amount of gallons they're pre-designed ready to go so if you want have four people in your house six people eight twelve there's one size for you these are designed at a 45 degree angle that is supposed to match your latitude uh, latitude is 45 degrees approximately and these are exactly 45 degrees you can adjust the angle for different latitudes so they produce more than you can use in the summer and they produce up to 50% in the winter. I installed mine last June and I went through seven days of rain and clouds and not one day with four people in the house did I need to use any electricity backup. So during the summer months there is no worry in my mind. However, they come with a little 120 volt, 1500 watt electric backup heater. And if you should happen to run out of hot water or you've got company coming in, you can plug this in for no more than 30 minutes because your tank will start steaming and you'll have all the hot water you want. They are often piped in as a preheater before your electric heater so that it maintains your temperature all the time anyway. The other method is by electronic controls that maintain the temperature at the time and the temperature that you want. The beauty of it is, is that these have a 72 hour storage, two and a quarter inches of dense polyurethane foam, and the evacuated tubes lose nothing, so all the gain stays. However, the temperature rises very high in the tank, so we generally put a mixing valve on it, which allows a 40 gallon tank in midsummer to give you about 120 gallons of 120 degree water.
they work only off of radiation so when it's cloudy and rainy they are still gaining heat they can be used in winter time however production drops and the cost to install increases you always face a possible freeze of your water lines coming and going if you don't winterize them properly. Growth of compact solar hot water heaters are phenomenal. In 2006, there were 50 million in use in Europe, Asia, and Africa. In 2009, there are 95 million. They built 5,000 factories last year alone to build these. The quality is exceptional. They're manufactured under ISO certification, so they have their process which is internationally recognized. They're all stainless steel, they're welded under argon gas, they are certified in the European Union. We lost one on the highway at 75 miles an hour. It bounced five times before it hit the ditch. All the pipes were stove in, we filled it up with water, and it held tight. So the quality is beyond anything I reasonably expected. They have a 15 year lifespan and counting at this point with negligible loss for manufacturing defects.